Just to let you guys know before we dive into today's episode, over the course of the next few days between Wednesday and Sunday, content is going to be a little less frequent than usual. I'm having to travel for from uh, for, for some uh, family-related stuff, basically. So I'm going to be away for about five days. Chances are we'll only be having one, maybe two videos a day, depending on uh, how much content I get done. I don't just want to churn out shitty content, you know, doing just half an hour blocks of, of just sitting there in one recording session. I still want them to be edited, so don't worry about that. I'll put, I'll put an update on Discord. For those of you who want to know exactly what's going on, I'll put something in the Discord so you guys can uh, get yourself caught up there if you're interested. Welcome back to a Game of Thrones one. Yesterday we played as the insane lunatic tyrant potting mix, and despite all odds, kind of got him back into a decent character, or at least a character that with uh, who is somewhat more respectful. We've got a problem here, and that problem being that, of course, this was a character we married off just to try and increase, or just to try and build up the Stark bloodline again, because, of course, they were all dying out. Then our character randomly died, even though he definitely should have in that duel, but hey, there we go. So now we're playing as this guy, have no legitimate heirs, or more specifically, we're on primogeniture, so his firstborn son will inherit, who happens to be Harris of the North. I've found three possible solutions to this problem. One of them is very easy to pull off. But would mean going into a fairly sizable war, so runs the risk of potentially killing us dead. Um, one of them is much more harder to do and require a long-term investment. The other is a bit more risky. So, the three options are, quite simply, obviously, step number one is kill our son. Now, uh, we don't like our, or more specifically, our son doesn't like us. I think we're actually, yeah, we like him, but he hates us because we executed our... Our last wife, his mother, because she she betrayed us. She went and had this bastard kid. Uh, she she did some other stuff that gave us rights to prison. I don't remember exactly what caused it, but we had means to kill her. He now hates us because of that. I think that's fairly reasonable. I'm not going to blame him too much for that one. That seems kind of uh, kind of realistic. The that's uh, uh, so our first option is to kill him. Obviously, we would inherit the north. There's a lot of bonuses to that, but we like our son, so I don't know that he would do that. But hey, I mean, we'll obviously getting a game over is is l more. Um, it's, it's something we want to avoid more than just breaking sort of character a little bit here. Our second option is to pass something like old team of geniture or seniority, preferably our team of geniture, so that the youngest child inherits instead. That in this situation would be Prince Rocky, which, as long as I'm educating him, which we are, so it's fine, as long as he's being educated is is good and obviously that's a lot more risky because it means you can end up playing at the you can get another kid at the age of 60 you can die and end up playing as a baby which is why ultimate genitor is a lot more risky you know you can't guarantee they're going to get good education whatever but in this situation we need it to survive the only problem with this strategy is that it requires people having a high vassal opinion of us no vassals must have a negative opinion of us which is going to be very very tricky to pull off now you're probably thinking mr streamer this is your own fault you know you've done something ridiculous you've, you've become a tyrant or broken law Actually, that's not the case at all. If we look at their opinions here, we've got just event modifiers that are making them dislike us. Reprimanded me. That is for them not paying a loan. Introduced insane law is just random from the fact that we started playing as this guy who was already a lunatic. There's no way to avoid that one, unfortunately. Then look at the others. Short reign. That would disappear. Limited round authority. We could try and do something with that. Foreigner, because she is Andal. Lunatic. Okay, can't help that one too much. Again, attraction to lunatic. Humble versus proud. Zealous. Cynical. It's not actually some one major thing that I've, that, that, that I've done specifically here. It's not that I've gone off the rails and made a shitty character. Quite the opposite. It's just a lot of minor little things that have built up over a large period of time. Now, this is going to be almost all of our Andal vassals are going to have this issue. The zealousness, the cultural differences, the, uh, I mean, anything like that. And you can see there, this person is hates us because I refused a faction scheme and I ordered her to pay her loans. I mean, I, I think if we want to, now I'm not saying that we'll, we'll focus solely on a single tactic. I think we should definitely be trying to go for all of these tactics. The third tactic is the easiest one to go for. But for the time being, I think we will focus on everything here. Now, the third tactic is actually very straightforward and would be kind of good. It only really solves the issue temporarily. Now, the third tactic involves us going to war with the kingdom of the Mountain and the Vale to push our brother's claim. Foot knows why he's got a claim on the north. We can push our brother's claim on the north which would make him a landed character, the oldest member of Housemud, but he's our brother, so of course primogeniture wouldn't work. At that stage, we would hope that, fingers crossed, a faction would be able to supplant us. This is sort of a third slash fourth possibility. Now, if we get a faction popping up like this guy, maybe they say, we demand you abdicate to Prince M and your nephew, at which point I'd say, yeah, absolutely, because I don't really want to get a game over. That way, it's kind of win-win. House Stark gets to live, and we don't get a game over. I think that's fair. 
So if that does happen, if they demand Prince Land or Prince Emmett for the Rivers and the Hills, I will say, yeah, absolutely, we'll, we'll surrender to that. If not, we can empower our brother and make him super, super powerful. Uh, what was his name again? Earth. We can make Earth super, super powerful, make him the Lord of the North, then chance our factions, as long as he's a good ruler, factions will pop up within the North, within our realm, to make him, and we could maybe even try and... Oh, no, it wouldn't work, though. I don't know what happens in that scenario with the Mega War system if we claim the North for someone else. Do they then, like what happened last time, do they then become vassals of the Mountain and Vale again? Apparently they didn't actually swear fealty, they, it's just the Mega War system made them join back. Which in my opinion, I think this is a fair opinion, makes no fucking sense. Given that the person who did swear fealty to the Vale who was defeated in battle by the Vale was removed from power. And we put someone else on there in the middle of an independence war. Which we then also fought off, I'd like to point out. But hey, that's, that's fine, that's just one of the mechanics, huh? So I don't know if, and this is why this one's risky, I don't know if, you know, pushing that claim on the north would even fucking work, because I think they would just immediately become vassals of the mountain and the veil, which we can't do anything about. You know, there's no war for Northman independence, there's no war for Northman liberation or anything like that. I don't know what to do. Honestly, don't know what the best strategy is, which is why I say let's focus on all of these strategies. Let's start making our vassals like us. When we can, let's flip over to rulership. Let's have feasts, let's have tournaments, let's try and get some good stats on this guy to make him beloved by his people. If, and and maybe, let's try and incite these people to revolt. Let's try and kidnap them and kill them off. Let's start working it so that our vassals do get a higher opinion of us. So obviously, that's quite risky, because, of course, if we're caught, then we get dishonor and tyranny and whatever else, blah, 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 blah. But we're going to have to try. You know, we're going to have to try. Now, there's no actual way that we can influence this guy dying. We've just got to hope he goes into battle and gets his head lopped off or something. Which, speaking of which, he's currently leading troops against uh, the Ironborn with 39 personal combat and 7 martial. So, talking of his head getting lopped off, it seems pretty likely at this stage. Now, I've also, in response to some other comments I've seen, I've also added a little bit of an event. Now, along with that, I've also added an event chain based on some of the comments I saw. So, you guys were saying that basically uh, House Mud shouldn't, in fact, have whatever that trait was called. What was it? The, uh, this one here. They apparently shouldn't have Mother's Grief, and this is just a bugged trait, which now I look at some of his other traits makes a lot of sense. You know, sympathy for the Summer Island Gods. Why would he have that? So, it's just a bug trait. House, House Mud should never have Mother's Grief. We actually don't have an Ancestral Sword. But instead, people are pointing to the fact that uh, Christopher, Christopher the fourth of House Mud, so this guy's father, would have had... Oh, but his traits aren't fucked up. I don't know. It doesn't matter too much anyway. Let's not worry about it. I guess he's got fatigue rather than some, some other thing. But this guy was known for always having a Warhammer, hence why he was called the Hammer of Justice. So I've set up an event chain that is rare, very difficult to actually pull off. We need a certain amount of prestige, a certain amount of piety, neither of which we actually fulfill right now. But if we've got the Obtain Valyrian Steel ambition, there's a chance that instead we can find the Lost Hammer. We can still find Valyrian Steel, or we can find the Lost Hammer of Trista for the Fourth. One or the other. So... I mean, it just adds a little bit more of uh, something that makes sense to our particular playthrough, to our particular character. I thought that'd be kind of a fun little thing to do in the background here while we're trying to fix everything that's gone wrong. And again, a lot of this is RNG. I don't think I deserve half the, half the, half the credit for, for the round being so fucked up. We just sold a heart. We just sold a heart for 21 gold. Fine. Now, what else can we do here? So, I mean, we do want to try and... Oh, 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 and obviously in the background here, of course, we're going to carry on with the Alchemist Guild, trying to lock those rare powers, unlock the power of uh, flame beasts or whatever it was that popped up yesterday, learn the power of transmutation as well, and be able to make as much gold as we could ever use here. So we want to hold things like summer fairs, feasts, grand hunts, melees as well, to be honest with you, um, even tournaments, but I don't think we have the option for tournaments right now. I think it just might be, yeah, it's because it's uh, December, I don't think we can. We could also go on a foreign tour, try and get some diplomacy points or something like that. There's a lot we can be doing to try and make people like us. I'm going to untick make wildfire for the time because that's not a super high urgency thing. To be honest, a lot of the time it does end up backfiring. Why don't we go on a foreign tour then to kick things off? Try and learn some skills. Learn how to be a good ruler. Try and get rid of maybe cynical or, oh my god, but cruel, cynical, selfish, proud, lunatic, stress. There's no wonder everybody fucking hates this guy. I will make a royal progress of the realm. So we are going to start a royal progress, which is not, not the same as the, uh, uh, I mean, you can go on a tour when you're a younger character. You can send your kids off on a tour. I think you have to be younger than the age of 16. But if you're a ruler, as we saw with the, the Bloodstone Emperor series before that went completely buggy and off the rails, we can make a royal progress. Now, this didn't work when I tried it in the other series. It's 100 gold. And we're going to visit nine of our vassal lords. I'm hoping and I'm praying that with this event, we can maybe try and win them over a little bit. When can we flip over? Oh, next year, we can also take rulership focus. Nice and nice. Okay. Let's endeavor to be a good ruler for once in this fucking guy's life. All right, let's do it. I should see all the world has to offer. And by the world, I mean the Riverlands. What size entourage do we want to take with you on our, on our royal progress? So if we take... 
the huge progress entourage. We lose 100 gold. We gain 100 prestige. The national revolt risk is lowered, but it will piss off our vassals because they will have to look after these troops, feed these troops. I'm just going to save myself and some retainers. It might be a bit more risky. We might be more, I don't know, prone to event-driven assassinations or something like that. But we'll wait and see how it do. We're going to depart Seaguard and start the Royal Progress of our domain. So we can right-click on people and visit on tour. So I guess what we want to do then, sort by the vassals that hate us most and go and visit them and see if we can't improve things here. So we can visit them. That already gives us plus 15 opinion. That's quite nice. And what happens after that? So we just turn up and we say, hello, nice to meet you. Ah, my lovely young wife, Ray, has expressed her boredom several times in several ingenious ways. My court is boring, hunting is boring, embroidery is boring, and the ladies in waiting are boring. She wants to make the boredom go away. Um, for the sake of love, we gain... She likes us, or she can just befriend a courtier. I'm not going to lose minus two to everything to keep my wife happy. Fucking go and befriend, inverted commas, a courtier. Let's go on... A... So what do we do then? We just go on a... Do we have to wait for that then to, to work for us to go and visit this woman? Uh, I don't know. Oh, lose some gold randomly. Ah, here we go. After a long journey, you and your modest retainer of bodyguards are approaching Rosby. You march through the area with your small bodyguard and oversee the execution of criminals, making sure the small folk know they're king. They are wary, but the small folk welcome you. Now, on to see Lady Paramount Sally Rosby. Local revolt risk is lower. Tax risk is up. That's quite cool. So she gets that bonus, which I guess in turn confers over to us. While in Rosby, some knights approach you. This guy wants to join our court. Uh, he's not bad. I mean, say he's knight. He's got 90 in intrigue. I'm going to say no, just because he's not that good a knight, huh? Rosby, after many days of traveling over the warm plains, you and your entourage have made it to Rosby. Hello. She gives you a stiff welcome and grudgingly offers guest right. You give her a cursory thanks, and then the radiant woman dismisses you from her presence. Great. So she didn't really like us that much. Never fucking mind. Um, I don't really care about the septum. It's only, oh my god, it's only count level characters that we have to worry about the opinion of so random septums here and there i'm not really too bothered by during your journey across the seas what fucking seas are we crossing we're at rosby you're telling me we went all the way around from sea god all the way around the reach round dawn up through the stormland up to rosby 10 percent chance of dying we actually could have just gotten a game over right there and then as your men slowly manage to get the ship back under control you hear a loud crack from above you as a piece of the mask comes hurtling towards you hitting your arm and we get the trait wounded well Oh, right, I was going to say, or not, but no, we actually did. Oh, God, wounded and stressed. Shit. Um, I don't care. I don't care. She's not guilty. I don't care. Travel onwards. Right, okay, who should we go to next, then? So we only care about, can we just visit her again? Okay, apparently not. They've thought about that. Um, and he's not a landed character, so what the fuck are we supposed to do about this guy? I honestly don't know. Um, okay, never mind, then. Let's go to B. Bracken and see if she, she won't even say, oh, she's in seclusion. This might have been a waste of time. I hate to say it. Um, Garibald Tully. Yeah, that would do. Visit on tour. Can, we, can I just queue up a few? I mean, this is another guy. What am I supposed to do about these guys? They're unlanded vassals, so we can't even... We can't visit them. There's, there's less things we can do with that, because they don't, again, control any land. We'll be able to win over a few of these guys. So it's plus 15 opinion with, what, six of our vassals, I think it was? So that works out pretty well. It's probably not worth the goal, but it's not too bad. See, we can't do this. So I'll, I don't see why this should concern me and piss off, you know, the, that Targaryen guy. I care not for these Riverman people. Absolutely. You give an equally demeaning stare back and with a little word you're escorted by your knights to your quarters. Gives you a formal greeting, but he can barely hide his contempt. What a shocker. Next, we go to Wayfarer's Rest to try and... I mean, it's 15 opinion per go. That's quite good. What I'm thinking is we... Yeah, okay. We've got to defend our vassals here. Let's get a lot of gold built up and we'll just send some gifts out. You know, we'll have our guy... What we really should be doing here is having... Uh, we'll make sure we've got a better Master of Coin for a start. Yeah, she's much better. Right, collect some taxes. We should make sure that we have our Master of Laws being the best person to come in. Have him in overseeing diplomatic relations. So send him off to Rosby, for example. I bet he fucking hates us. Okay. Um, right, let's see if we can find a better diplomat to start off with. Join court, yes. Oh my god, look at this guy. Castellan of the Hedge Knights. He's so good. He likes us and he's got 26 diplomacy. Oh god, this guy's annoyed because we visited him. Fuck's sake. This is not worth it. This has not been worth it at all, has it? All right, never mind. We'll try and patch things up. Oh, we can't... Oh, does it have to be a nobleman as our master? Wait, what? Did he not arrive at our court yet? Am I going crazy? Um, so, Raymond... Okay, I don't care about you. There we go. Our person get involved or I'll let them work at their own pace. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say no. Let's not bother with carrying on. There we are. He's at our court now. I think it's too risky. I didn't realize that there was a chance of us also losing opinion. It's definitely not worth risking it any more than we already have. Right, go to Rosby. Oversee things. Maybe there is a possibility that we can unland our son. Oh, God. But even if we unland him, we're still going to play as him. He's still our son, though, right? Um, I was kind of hoping during the war maybe he might die. You know, something along those lines. Never mind. Okay, so I think that was the end of our tour. Oh, that was not worth it at all, was it? 
15 opinion with some of our vassals, but piss off some of the others. All right, let's go home and try a different tactic then. Found a plot where Lord Paramount, Lady Paramount Saley is the leader of a plot. Um, I found a plot where she's the leader of a plot. Yeah, no shit. She's trying to cause someone to revolt. Let's make sure that unknown plots are turned off. So you can see there, she's trying to incite Lord Theomar to revolt. I think we're going to launch an imprisonment against her, which I hope will have a cascade effect of every single Andal Lord within the Riverlands going into rebellion. That way, chances are we can revoke all these titles, dish them out, get a bunch of new vassals that like us. Nice. Good. They will surely honor their obligations. They almost surely will not honor their obligations. Let me phrase it that way. Let's get everyone up to... I mean, Emmons Rest is a bit too risky. Let's get them up to Seaguard, fight, uh, fight them over the fork. Off we go. We've got some money in the bank, so if we do need to... Come on, rebel against me. It's not just going to be Rosby, is it, that rebels against us? Oh, it actually looks like it might be. Okay, in that case, never fucking mind. Go to Emmons Rest. Uh, Lord Garamold has told me a letter of fabricating evidence to have him arrested and banished, sent by Captain Mark. Well, what can we do about these mercenary bands? Well, it's not like you can revoke their titles. So, Captain Captain Mark, where are you? This guy. So, I can't just revoke that. I can't just imprison... I can imprison him, and then he'll go into rebellion? He just flees. Well, I suppose we've replaced him with potentially a better vassal now, so that's a start, I guess. On the plus side, we gain 100 prestige and lose the trait stress. So that's something. You know, it was, it was not a good journey at all. I didn't realize there was that risk, and that's not a risk I'm, I'm willing to take here. Right, we're back. Perfect. Oh, he improved relations with her. Well, that's a bit fucking late now. We might as well move him to literally anywhere else, huh? So who else have we got? Next step, we want to work on the Lord of Southstone. He's actually quite young, so if we send him a gift now, 15 gold, perfect. Then we can... Um, why, why, do, why do you not like me? Let's talk. Uh, religious differences, limited realm authority. I wonder if we could change that. We'd have to drop it down to low. Feel of our opinion plus five rather than minus five actually could be so significant. And you've got to ask yourself, you know, it's it's the difference between... I don't like the fact we've got two empires as well. Because both those are going to contribute at minus five. Um, what I'm thinking then is we'll drop those both... Or will they both contribute at minus ten though if I take it both down to minimum? I assume they would. That could be interesting. Or maybe, maybe it only applies to Dejour vassals, and this one has no Dejour because it's titular. I don't know. We'll wait and see how that do. Hang on. Could we maybe flip the succession law on... Maybe change to, like, Cognatic or something. That could work. So, room for... Why can't we do that? So, we need to have equality. Right. Can we get that? Or is that something that's not possible? No, it's also not possible. Never fucking mind, then. All right. Let's overthrow this one. Then we'll just carry on with our regular sort of trying to, trying to sway our vassals. Well, there's their, uh, there's their armies destroyed. Now we go to Rosby. It's, that's their armies destroyed. We got 2% war score. Wow. Unreal. Right, let's go to Rosby. Let's get rid of this kingdom level title. Because I don't like having a random kingdom level title. Because it does... Did I... Did I just take off my core position once? I was on, like, autopilot. Doesn't matter. He probably wasn't... Ill treatment. Yes, you beautiful man. Kill him. Die. Die, Harris. This is also... It's... Um, my... He's... Fucking done it. Oh, my God. I'm so happy. Oh my god, I'm so happy. We've gone from being fucked to now the most powerful man in Westeros. Oh my god, it's so fucking good. Now, don't get me wrong, it's still not a great scenario because our son, Winton Stark, still going to take... Can we, can we send him to the wall? Fuck off, go to the wall. Get out of here. This actually might work. Oh my god. Send him to the wall. Get out of here. And I, you, you must admit... Our guy likes him. I sent for a court physician. My, there is no blood on my hands right now. I sent for a court physician. He still died. Granted, the court physician killed him, but that's beyond the point. Oh, my God. And our new heir is Prince Loam. Garbage, Prince Loam. But more importantly, House Mud. It's all, it's all coming back together. Now, what happens to House Stark, then? Are they just dead now? One living member. Oh, my God. It's our son that I just banished to the wall. I'm sorry. I had to do it. We had no choice but to do that. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm... Still going to try and keep all our vassals happy because we've got a lot of extra fucking vassals. But these are all first men, right? So they'll probably like us. Northmen? Nope, they are not first men. They are not first men at all. But does that give us another holy site? <gasps> it does. Okay, 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 okay. This could work. This could work. We need three holy sites. There's also Storm's End, which right now, I don't know if you've noticed, is a complete fucking shit show. Can we just, like, declare war on them, perhaps? We'll, we'll see after we've dealt with this one. This could be, this could be fantastic. This could be fantastic. Um... I'll pay interest on behalf of my Bannerman. She'll like us more if we pay 18 gold. Done. Oh, it's House Glover. Send us some gold. Send us some gold. Let's, let's win over some of our vassals here. House Bolton. They're incredibly powerful right now. Send him some gold. Have some, have some gold, my friend. And let's also give him the honorary title of... Oh, God, okay. Why don't you like us? Because he wants the Kingdom of the North. Uh, too many held high lordships. Fair enough. That's absolutely understandable, my friend. I'm going to grant that to... Are there any branch members of, of House Stark, potentially? What we should do then is... Let's, let's, um, let's change tactic. Let's check the bloodlines. 
See if there are any members of House Stark who are still alive with the bloodline. Um, there's a much easier way to do this in hindsight. We'll just go to our son. Go to his bloodlines. Are there any other living members of House Stark? Only Winton. All right, never mind then. He might have a bastard, you never know, while he's at the wall. And then, you know, we could land them. I was going to say we'll give Winterfell out to maybe a Branch Dynasty of House Stark instead. So we could... Yeah, but would Branch Dynasties, would bastards inherit the bloodline? I have no idea. The Game of Thrones mechanics might be vastly different. Let's check House Stark. See if there are any distant relatives that we could land. Oh, God, no, there's really not. That's it. It's just a straight line. There's House... Who's that? House Stark? Oh, the Night King. That's a nice little feature. That's a nice little bit of attention detail. I didn't even consider that. Wow. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Okay, never mind. Um, can't really do much there, huh? Never mind. So I guess then my good friend. Uh, oh, not you. We need we need we need an old old. Is anyone old gods really? Okay, well let's see if we can find one. So my religion, uh, my culture first. Then they'll be Northmen, won't they? Not that it really matters too much. There you are. You'll do. Uh, Liran of Congrove Hall. Brother is a lord. Doesn't stand to inherit anything. Invite him to court. Give him some land. Oh, should we go for someone with High Marshal instead? Kedge. Kedge. My good friend Kedge. Join me, Kedge. You are going to get landed. So once Short Reign is gone, and once Pinion of Predecessor is gone, limits of Brown Authority we can deal with, that's fine. We actually might be okay here. I think we might just be able to... What's the Revolt Risk looking like? The actual Revolt Risk is pretty good. What's the Opinion Map mode? Not bad. Not very good, but still not terrible. Like, apparently you guys... It doesn't really matter. So let's click us. Yeah, no, we're actually not too bad at all. We're not, we're not doing quite as fucky as I thought. Obviously, these guys hate us because we've got the god's eyes. So we'll deal with that later on as well. But they're not part of our realm. So honestly, don't remember. Oh, Wayfarer's Rest actually did rebel against us. Well, that's another one we can deal with then. Good work. This is all coming, this is all coming together. It was actually all, all working out kind of fine. It was, it was incredibly touch and go there for a second. But having our son die, again, did try and save him. That was just a tragic accident there. No one suspects a thing. Not that there is anything to suspect, I should also point out. Oh, I mean, this is this is incredible. This has been a really, really nice change of pace. It's nice. All my life, I've been worried only by my own personal games. We'll lose the trait Selfish, which gives us Dynasty and Spouse. Oh, that's basically just losing. Oh, this guy's chosen by law. Great. So we lose the Stewardship, essentially. That's it, because I don't really care about my Dynasty or my Spouse opinion right now. Okay. Um, We lost Chase. We gained Chase very briefly and then lost it immediately afterwards. Now, our, our enemies, our, our traitors, are apparently... Marching their very small army right towards us? Brave. Uh, an interesting strategy, I'll be honest. I guess we'll just kill you all. Okay, bye, thank you. Ah, you want us to teach us more secrets. Great, okay. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the marketplace, just complete this mission. Then when can we get the rare powers? So next rank we can try and learn the secrets of alchemy. That would help out so much, because then we can just shower our vassals with gold, huh? You are done. Goodbye, thank you very much. That will do. And then they should ask us, forfeit wayfarer's rask. He may rebel. I don't care. She will forfeit Rosby. They may rebel. How can they rebel again if we've just done that? Doesn't make any damn sense. Now, can we also revoke the High Lordship of Rosby? Which makes it just the lady, the elegant of Rosby. And we can revoke the last one as well. Perfect. Well done, team. That worked out pretty goddamn well. That means we can land another first man vassal. That's another loyal vassal for us. Wayfarer's rest. So, what would... Oh, there he is. So, he had Acorn Hawk. Can we revoke that as well? No. What if we banish him to the wall? Take the black, go to the wall. Is this guy going to be annoyed by us? Possibly. But we'll always just grant it out to another guy. Right, get out. Go on. Off you go. Bye, my friend. Um, that's now independent for reasons. <laughs> uh, Hold up cinnamon host Isles invasion of Pike. What? Invasion of... What the fuck is going on here? Why have we got boats over in the... Oh, 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 I see. So we revoked a title that was joining this this war and then we've ended up with those trip right okay, i'm not bothered by that i'm not gonna i'm gonna join that one so we did join an invasion of cracklaw point though because andals are going over to try and take cracklaw point so we're gonna go and bail them out then uh this one with the iron islands oh it's the northern war that's why over bear island right okay should have not really dropped those troops should have really read that first that's okay not really a big deal is it right give us some uh, give us some boats oh we don't have many boats, it turns out. Although, hang on. They've got enough men up here that we might be able to just... Yeah, we'll be able to win the war just with Battle War score. It's all right. No no panics. No panics. Right, let's defeat these animals up here. We'll defeat the Iron Ball in the north. Then we'll get back to your your usual usual vassal sort of stabilization. Are any of you guys first man old gods? First man old gods? First man old gods? You can convert and I'll give you a duchess. It's, I always say it's a shame that you can't do things like that in CK2. Like, hey, convert to my religion. I'll chuck you a duchy. I mean, that seems like a fair trade. 
I guess we'll uh, land this guy then. 19 martial. I want vassals that have good martial skills so that we can obviously get more troops out of them. Let's invite him to court. Um, this grid has not become you. I'm sorry. I should have probably said, yeah, you can have that or whatever it was. Right. Grant land title. Give you the lordship of Rosby. There you go, my friend. Um, apparently, these two we can't transfer vassalage of. Why? Transfer vassalage. Stoteworth. Did I not hit include lower titles? Because it sure as fuck didn't do it. Right, there we go. So that's dealt with two more troublesome vassals. How are we looking? Still not good, huh? Really not good. Yeah, I suppose we have just picked up a shitload of other vassals as well. What about like these random guys? Can we not? Oh, they're part of our... We shouldn't have any count tier vassals besides the ones we've got from our own personal domain. So with a bit of brown reshuffling, we might be able to fix this. Um, some tax concessions, heavily focused tax noble obligations. Yeah, whatever. Okay, there we go. Right, 78%... In defense of these guys. We gathered ingredients. We lost 25 gold. But we gained our 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 mission. Whatever it's called. Currency in this one. What is it called? Knowledge. There we are. Right. 85%. What else are they sending over? Where are the rest of your troops then? Oh, it's Runestone. Right. Okay. So it's the Vale actually going for the uh, going for the invasion. Ah, Prolific Daughter. Nice. So we can marry her off and get... I might even marry her off matrilineally and get just a shitload of more members of House Mud out of her. Um... Etiquette. No. Humility. Etiquette's kind of bad. Amory. Uh, how about... How about... I'm onto my I'm, I'm onto my second list now because we've run out of names. How about uh, random rocks? Does that work? Slate? Slate mud? It's not really related, but you know what? We're close enough. There you go. Despite the fact that I've done nothing at all, I guess ticking more score has meant that we've won that one. There we go. Nice work. So we now have Bear Island, which didn't really want, but I suppose uh, successful one nonetheless. Do we really have to worry about this one? I'll keep the troops around, but I don't think we need to worry about you know, I'm keeping too many troops in the area. Lost them. Oh, they're actually buying this stuff from us. Kingdom of Rosby destroyed. That's great news because that means people aren't going to want the Kingdom of Rosby from us. Fantastic stuff. All right, how many duchies have we got? We've still got three duchies, so I need, do need to give something else here. Uh, Wayfarer's Rest. Do you like us? No. Do you like us? No. Um, <laughs> shit. I guess, well, is this guy going to come back to our domain? Castle Rock Queen Layla Lannister has had a ground council. She's planning to launch an invasion of a foreign realm. Bring it. Honestly, this stage, bring it. 17,000 men. I mean, look at us. The rivers and the hills and the north and the and the neck. That's what we're going to rename this empire. Right, I'm going to drop these troops then. Let's see then if we can declare war. No, we can't. Um, so, Valley Caspella. I guess he is our vassal, but we're still waiting on this war, whatever the hell it is, to end. So, I've dished out all of, or at least some of our gold. I think I dished out about 300 gold there, most of which we got from our various sort of wars here, the, from selling those things that we uncovered by... But, oh, actually, that's a good way to turn a profit, isn't it, really? So whenever we can. Oh, right. Okay. There's a lot of ways we can make some profit out of this then. So let's make some... Um, let's make some... We can make counterfeit silver currency. This is very similar to almost debasing the mints. You get upfront cost, but you will, in theory, lose some things in the future. Whereas debase the mints, you use prestige. This, I believe, actually does cost you tax over the long term. So if you were playing as like a small tribal ruler, this would be kind of a good one to go for because you don't have much tax in the first place. This case, though, we're going to go for fool's gold. And then we can actually say, I'll sell it. And then we'll gain some stuff. There we go. 50 more gold. Nice. Hire an alchemist, I think, is unnecessary. We've done it to the guild. Also kind of unnecessary. I'm going to inquire more ingredients. We're going to hunt for parts in the forest. And then people can approach us and ask to buy them, which will work out pretty well. Now, once I've dished out the last of our random domain titles here. Uh, so, let's... Can we get rid of... Uh, who wants Bear Island? I might just give it to Deepwood. A house glover. Keep those guys happy. Fuck it. Ego. Have Bear Island. Boom. All right. I should have already checked if there were any members of House Mormont left, huh? House... Oh, House Mormon. Oh, House Mormon doesn't exist yet. I actually don't don't really remember the backstory of House Mormon. Okay, so we still got one out of our one over our domain. So, uh, so that's Rook's Rest. It's Cracklaw Point, which we actually don't have, do we? It's under these guys, um, who we obviously tried to get, but, but really couldn't. Um, so you Bay of Crabs. I could give it to him, but he's already got quite a fair amount of land. He's got more land though. I don't really want it. I mean, what what are the other options? God's Fort, Old Stone, Sea Guard. Uh, Blackpool. Oh, God, get rid of that. My God. Not interested in your pleasure beats today, my friend. So that's under the Duchy of Old Castle, which is also under us. Oh, nice. Okay, so we, we could kill two birds with one stone here. So grant him Old Castle. There you go. Okay, nice. So we've, we're under our domain limit. We've got rid of all of our extra Duchy level titles. Now look at this. Tell me this is not a margin, a marginal, a, a, a huge, a very large and sizable improvement, whatever word delete is appropriate. Than yesterday. Look at this. Let's sort by the lowest opinion. Oh, God, it's broken a little bit. Give me a sec. Right, there we go. So we've got... I mean, let's, let's count the important vassals here. So we've got one, two... I mean, he's Hedge Knight, so I'm not even going to bother counting him. We've got one, two vassals. 
Two Duke level vassals. Actual landed Duke vassals that dislike us. One is a captain of the Hedge Knights. So I suppose I could just chuck him some gold, maybe. Um, don't really know. This guy, uh, Lord Benjamin of Last Hearth, doesn't like us for whatever fucking reason. So the Kingdom of the North. Hopefully that will also be destroyed. Just like the, the, the Kingdom of Rosby or whatever. Hopefully that would disappear. Maybe that's just titular titles. Not entirely sure. He doesn't like us because we're an uncivilized jeweler and vicious rumors. What the fuck do you mean uncivilized jeweler? That's not good. Now, Short Rain and Raised Levies is also part of that. You can see I've sent him a gift there, plus 36. So, really, it shouldn't be too long before we can, you know, salt and potentially change that session. Or I don't really want to do it anymore. I might even get to low realm authority. Bollocks to it. What does that actually do for us? We get less tax. I'm not really bothered about that. We've already got a lot of tax anyway. Who the hell is going to vote this law down? Who is going to vote this law down? Everybody is going to vote for it. Because it's, it's empowering our vassals. You know what? I've decided I don't want more power today, actually. We will pay interest on behalf of our bannermen. There we go. So, 10 gold in exchange for 10 favor. Pretty significant. Oh, nice work. Holy shit, we're back up to the money before I started dishing all those, uh, dishing all those gifts out. Come on. Just vote for it. Why would you guys not want to vote for it? There we go. And we get... Whoa! It's been an exceptional year at the Woodcutter's Lodge. The Woodcutter's Lodge in Seaguard. Twice as many goods as usual. Jesus. There we go. And that's two autonomous vassal laws passed. I didn't really want to do much with the Kingdom of the North, but there we go. So that should, in theory, have now dealt with some of our other hated... Oh, man. Everybody loves us now. So easy. That's all we had to do. So we've actually got no vassals now. No important vassals. Anyway, obviously, there's this guy again, Captain the Hedge Knights. There's fucking no one, essentially. Um, I'll try to sway you instead, then. We could always just grant him independence, but I do like having access to his mercenaries whenever we feel like that's fantastic. We've actually really, really, really tidied this up. And then the others are just random vassals. You know, we've got like some military commands here. When these guys die, we'll inherit that back. So that would just give us more to our domain. So we might want to dish some other things out here. Like, uh, what, what is it you call what, what is it you call that again? The designated heir title. That's it. So obviously, Seagull can be our heir's title. Move this to our capital again. This is going to work out so well. Wow. That was, um, yeah, I, I said we were going to redeem things today. And my God, I think we've actually redeemed things today. This guy was a hated tyrant. He's not so much a hated tyrant. A couple of law changes, dishing out some gold here and there as a as a cruel, cynical man. Why wouldn't he? I mean, he's also a lunatic, so nothing he ha he does has to make sense anymore, as far as I'm concerned. Good work. I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with what's gone down. And there we go. My God, I I, I know it's not really important anymore, but that is actually it. Every single duke. And, and there was me thinking that would be the most impossible way to do it. I thought that we, that guy would never die. I thought we'd never be able to kill off our son or whatever. But hey, it worked. It actually worked. So now we could, in theory, if oh I suppose this guy counts as a count. Okay, there you go. Problem fucking solved. We could, in theory, now change the succession law, I believe. Not that, again, I don't really want to. Um, we just have to be at peace, and we mustn't have autonomous vassals. So, you could make an argument that, okay, we wouldn't be able to pass it because I passed that other law, but I'm sure we could have found other ways around it, just swaying them or being a nice guy. We could, again, like, even something as simple as kind would have just allowed us to do that. It's fantastic. Good work. Not only that, a member of... We're not going to get game over next succession. We've doubled the size of our domain quite easily here. The Mountain of the Vale, I think... I think this is a fair point... These guys are on my kill list. Not that I think we can do anything to stop them, to be honest with you. It's a shame we can't fucking launch an invasion or launch a liberation of the Andal people. There's nothing, unfortunately. They can launch all the invasions they want against us. We can't do anything in retaliation because we are nice, peaceful first men, and that's just how it works. So then, next goal. Realm is stable. We've expanded our borders. We've got two of the Lord Paramount's titles. Obviously, being the, the rivers and the riverlands of the north. What I'm thinking next, then, let's try and reform this religion. That way, we can be as aggressive or as peaceful or as... Uh, we can play... We can tailor the religion to our style. <laughs> the white stag, yeah, good luck with that one. So, the second we can, I'm going to get my guy... Oh, they want Brooks Rest right, I see. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're a great guy and all, but mm, nah, I don't think so. So what we're going to do then, the second we can, I'm going to move this guy over, start fabricating claims on Storm's End, because apparently we have to stay within the Andal Law. Then we can go over there and kick their ass and uh, more gold. Thank you. Uh, this is why I'm not bothered about losing that tax. 901 gold is absurd. So I've also moved some vessels onto our council to keep them even happier. Fabricate claim is 31.5% chance yearly on Storm's End. That means in what, like three, four years we are... On average, mathematically, like to get a client. Oh, look, Crown Loyalist Faction. If, as if that could be any better. And then the only people who actually want independence are House Bolton because they're House Bolton. I would be honestly shocked if they weren't trying to get for House for independence or trying to do some sort of uh, trying to do some sort of uh, scheming in the background there. I'm happy to leave it here. I think this has been an absolute step in the right direction, and hopefully, you guys will agree with me on that. Thank you all for watching. Tomorrow, I guess we attempt to reform the faith. Like I said, we're going to try and redeem this guy. I think we made a good start, but actually reforming the faith and being a true stalwart defender of the old gods, that would be the cherry on the cake for this guy. 
Thank you all for watching. And a big thank you to the insane top tier level pitch for making this series possible in the first place. A big thank you to Aiden W, Alchemia, Anthony Golia, Sunakurato, Atmosis, Average Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Ben Hoffman, Chesty, Croesus, Donald, Doolin of Gondolin, Facuna Vasquez, Ghost of Protocol, Gogola, Sarik, James Shea, Jimbo, Jonah Waters, Justin Wallace, Kane and Carter, Michael Mullen, my name isn't Dio, Muskratful, Napuskus Number One, Necrofin, and Powers Presley, Rodian, Richard Clark, Scott, Skaz, Smegma Stain, Somnus, The Forsaken One, T-Bag Cruz, Tom Terry 18, Tyler Kendall, Tyler McLam, Thakus Bacchus, Void Prince Kibo, William Green, and Zazzy7011. Big shout out to these guys for making the channel possible and YouTube possible in 2019. Big appreciation to you. And a thank you as well to the other patrons, including Uwu Daddy, Asro, Anna Person, Andrew Walsh, Andrew Wilson, Anchor, Attila, Austin Taylor, Bordoon, Ben Troke, Boyan Gunn, Betamus Max, Better Valerian, Black Double H, Chris, Corey CA, Corgi Circus, David Van Diepen, Don, Don Cotton Summer 7, Emerald Beam, Exploding Needs, Gaz, Genji Zerker, Gotham O, Grey, Haji Dumar, Icarus, Icy the Great, Ida C, Jackson P, Jay Lara, Jacob Wolfie, James Barnes, Jason Sushu, Jose, Jeebus Crust, Yoran DeVries, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beer, Justin Pluck, Justin Walters, Luana Thomas, Luke Wallace, Mustolp, Monty, Mostly Samson, Nathan Flores, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Nostrus, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Organized Confusion, Pan Samu, Pantherfell, Payback 1 through 7, Peyton Denisar, Russian Oligarch, Billionaire, Ryan Hooper, Sagatair, Sam Kears, Shari, Smurtworm, Smooth Octopus, Socrates, Super Nanny 089, The Insane Pickle, The One Ring, Volonkri, Varagon, Voodoo Mumbo, Will Wade, Wilson, Atef, Wolfie, Yorker Zack, and Zico 2. Thank you all for your support. See you guys all, maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after. I'm sure I've put up an announcement at this stage. See you guys then.